frequency distribution tables. So when collecting and analyzing data, sometimes you don't have to see every individual bit of data written down. You can summarize it with a frequency distribution table. All right, let's write out a bunch of data. One, 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 two, 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 three, 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 four, and four. How can we summarize this data so it doesn't look so messy? So let's draw up a frequency distribution table. So it's called a frequency distribution table. Where we're going to have our score, our frequency, and a tally. We can draw it up in a table. So our scores, our different scores, well we've got ones, we've got twos, threes, and fours. So that's what's going to go in our score column. One, two, three, and four. And let's tally them up. So we've got one, two, three, four, five ones. So then we can write a five in our frequency. One, two, three twos, so three. One, two, three, four, four threes, and one, two, fours. And sometimes it helps writing the total under our frequency. So here we've got 14 scores in total if we add up all those numbers. And this is just a nice way of representing our data, and we can easily know how many of each score we have without having to count them.